You okay, Kelly? Not exactly. You weren't drinking last night. No. I bet you were. I heard you throwing up this morning. Just keep it quiet with you, Donna. I don't want her on my back again. So you were out boozing? Don't worry, I won't tell on you. I've got a lot more than that to worry about. I'm in real trouble this time. What's up? You haven't touched breakfast. I just don't like your lousy cooking. Simple solution. Do it yourself. And while you're at it, you can do the washing and the ironing. And I haven't finished with you yet, young lady. I am getting sick and tired of your attitude. What is you... going on? I can hear you two in the shop. To start shooting her mouth up again. She's always picking on me. And if I do, it's for your own good. If you'd have listened to me, you might not have made such a fool of yourself over Tom. No, I could have done it with a barman like you did. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's just calm down, shall we? Don't bother. I'm going. This just can't go on. She is getting worse. Oh, she does seem to be in a bit of a mood lately. Do you know what's up with her, Donna? Oh, this is an unexpected pleasure. Dad, I was watching. It's rude, Donna. Viv will join us in a minute. She's just finishing cashing up. Well, I hope I haven't come at an awkward time. Mm, most welcome. Here, do you want a beer? A glass of wine? Oh, no. Thanks. You want something to eat? We've got a really good line in TV dinners at the moment, haven't we, no, girl? I haven't come here to eat or drink it. We need to talk. And we know you're a very busy man, so let's get to the point. Yeah, so how's our little girl doing at home farm, eh? You pleased with her? Oh, yes. Very. We were disappointed she didn't take her exams. We wanted to go on to uh, university. Yeah, all right, Viv. Look, uh, I've told Kelly that uh, you've given her a real chance here and, you know, if she knuckles down, she can make a really good career for herself. Well, I'm, I'm sure, sure she can, but that's not why I'm here. I knew it. It's more of a personal matter. Right, Donna, time for your bath. It's not even eight o'clock. Just do as you're told. Please, Donna. That's a good girl. I'll be back soon. You in some sort of trouble, Kelly? Chris will explain it all. Yeah, well, I'm... I'm sure that once you've had time to think, I hope that you see it as, as good news. What's going on? Well, it's probably better to... Wait for your wife to come back first before we discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> 